Good morning, everybody. I'm Jared Klein coming to you live from the NBC 29 digital desk. Happy Friday. Let's get things started off as we always do here on the Morning Rush with a look at the top stories you guys are clicking on over on NBC29.com. Coming in at number one, an orangutan at the Metro Richmond Zoo learning how to nurse from a breastfeeding zookeeper. At number two, norovirus cases rising in the Charlottesville area. And then at number three, we've got maps posted of the Charlottesville Marathon, Half Marathon, and a 8K, which are coming up tomorrow. All right, well, Albemarle County Police are investigating human remains found off Burkmar Drive. They were found at a campsite near Agner Hurt Elementary School. Right now, police say that there is no threat to the school or to the public. Well, eyes up and phones down. Albemarle County Police are warning against distracted driving. If you do not heed this warning, it could mean a ticket or much worse. ACPD says an increase in distracted driving means an increase in officers looking to enforce the laws around it. It says there are a lot of people not paying attention when they're driving. We're going to increase our patrols. We're going to uh, increase our uh, safety programs to where we're going to be looking for distractions. So we ask that you um, pay attention to driving, give all of your attention to driving. ACPD says it does not want to ticket drivers, but it will if the officers see you using that phone. So make sure you put it down and keep your eyes on the road. All right, well, doctors in the Charlottesville area are warning about a norovirus outbreak. Dr. Tyson Bell with UVA Health says this isn't out of the ordinary as cases spike symptoms to look out for include diarrhea, stomach upset, vomiting, and sometimes fever. The important to remember about norovirus is that uh, unlike with COVID and the flus, hand sanitizer doesn't really work that well. And so this is where you really want to focus on hand washing. Whenever your hands are going to come in contact with your mouth or if you go into the bathroom, really scrub those hands good with soap and water. People who get norovirus should stay home, of course, and hydrate. And doctors say to seek medical attention if you can't keep down fluids, if you start to become lethargic, or if your skin color becomes more pale. Well, artificial technology or AI, a lot of people are interested in it right now. And UVA is wondering how it will impact learning both now and in the future. It's holding a series of town halls with students, faculty and staff to learn more about how they use things like chat GPT in their academic lives. The town halls examine the software's benefits and the challenges that come with it. The, thing that the town halls are trying to establish is that there's AI as we understand it today, and then there's the pace that AI is improving over time. And so we have to begin a conversation that's not just about the tools as they are, but the tools as they will be. The goal is to use what's learned to help shape the school's policies on technologies, on technology, excuse me, the town halls run through April 4th. Well, Z95.1 morning show host Sherry Taylor here just snagged a prestigious national award. The Gracie Awards recognize outstanding women in media from radio and podcasts to television. And Taylor has been a fixture in Charlottesville radio for years and is active in her community. I've been doing this for 30 years and uh, and you don't even really think about it. You know, at least I don't, you know, you don't think about getting recognition and things like that. But when it does happen, it's kind of like this is kind of cool. I, I'm digging it. Is it Taylor will accept the award for best radio host in a small market on June 20th, and that will take place in New York City. We wish her the best and congratulate her on that win. All right, and attention bookworms. The Jefferson Madison Regional Library spring book sale starts tomorrow. The people at JMRL say they have thousands of books looking for homes. The book sale takes place at JMRL's Albemarle Square Shopping Center branch. It runs through April 9th. All donated by the community. These aren't books that are coming off the library shelf. Some are, uh, a handful are. But um, for the most part, these are books that the community has given to us, and we're cycling them back into the community. And we have more details on this book, fail, 
fair over on NBC29.com. Well, the clouds will be moving in for us today with some wet weather expected by the evening commute. Let's send things over now to meteorologist David Rogers with more on our Friday forecast. Good morning, everybody. A TGI Friday, the last day of the month, getting our day off to a dry start. We'll see mostly cloudy sky. We are tracking a warm front, cold front combination. The warm front will start to warm temperatures up today near 70 degrees with uh, breezes increasing 10 to 20 miles an hour. Meanwhile, we'll see showers developing uh, late this afternoon. You can see some of the activity off to our west. Those rain showers will continue into tonight and into early Saturday. And then skies should start to clear by Saturday afternoon. And that's when those real gusty winds come into play. We'll have wind gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour across much of the region as temperatures Saturday warm up to near 80. And then it looks like the winds finally start to calm down later in the day Saturday. Pretty good looking day for us on Sunday. Meanwhile, the big story next week, much warmer temperatures. We'll see afternoon highs warming up into the 80s. That's a quick look at your forecast for now. Have a great and safe weekend. All right, thank you, David. And here's a look at that Michael and Sun heating seven day forecast, a high of 68 today. Again, with those PM showers moving in and breezy conditions tomorrow, there will be early showers, but by the time they move out, it will be windy outside. There is the possibility of some sporadic power outages, especially in those higher elevations. And then looking like a beautiful day for our Palm Sunday, a high of 63 with sunny skies. I hope you guys have a great Friday, a great weekend ahead. We'll see you again over on NBC 29 News at noon. And we're always live over on NBC29.com.